this video is for Blasen1 who asked me to produce a video about straightening warped air horns on these old quadra jets uh, and I'm going to show you what I did I got a good sealing carburetor and it works, it's on my daily driver but uh, for any, any newcomers who haven't seen my other videos I, I would encourage you uh, look at my other videos on quadra jets and I show you how to shop for a quadra jet that does not have warped or cracked air horns without dismantling it there are things you can look for on the outside of the carburetor. Once you've got your quadrajet apart, you can see if your air horn is warped by putting a straight edge across the back of it. Please consider having a good hard look for a, a good quality quadrajet, and if you're going to need to repair one, try and repair the best one you can find. Otherwise, it ends up being $1,000 worth of work on a $200 carburetor. Some of the tools I used were a propane torch, a heat gun, a rubber mallet, some nice bits of timber that you can use as a soft punch, something a bit heavier, and a barbecue. You want something to work as an anvil. This piece of steel was the best of what I had, but it's got to be as flat as you can get. Get your straight edge, assess where your high spots and low spots are. You'll probably find that all the corners have been pulled down by the bolts and the entire center of it is a low spot. Very carefully take your time, turn it over. I um, scribed in the areas that I believe were the center of the low spots. You could use a marker pen or maybe even some paint, something that will stand up against the heat you're going to apply. I, I believe you could do this with a heat gun or a gas torch or on a barbecue plate. A barbecue plate might normalize the metal, might an anneal it and alleviate stresses of its hard life, get a hard flat surface to beat on. I'd start with the rubber mallet, be gentle, measure progressively as you go so that you don't work it any more than you need to. If you need to work it in places where the hammer won't go, this is when the the wooden punch comes in, a bit of timber and probably a slightly heavier hammer but I'd take your time and hit it as gently as you can and you're probably wasting your time unless you can get it within about a millimetre of where it should be. Uh, something to notice in here is there's uh, some little ridges around here on the air horn which is going to be a compromise after you've filed it down for a finished flat surface. When you're ready to finish off, get a brand new piece of wet and dry 80 grit, a flat piece of glass that's not going to break on a flat table, and polish, file down your finished surface. A problem you're likely to run into is that the secondary air dams are going to bind up after you screw this down onto what's most likely a warped carburetor body. Um, what I would recommend is you pull the plug out of here, pull this out while the air horn is on the carburetor and try to get a round file in there and try and bore it enough so that this will run freely.